What's up everybody, UGC Christ here and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Madness. Nearly said the Minecraft Diaries then. <laughs> um, a little bit has changed since you last saw it guys and my girlfriend has been mining for me. She actually found another dungeon, hence all these sexy saddles. Got a lot more moss on, some strings, some red star, things like that. She went on a big collecting mission for me. It's got loads of wood, loads of coal, so she made loads of tools for me and all the cobblestone that I'm holding now. Just so I can build for you guys, how nice is that? So I think all you guys need to leave her a nice comment below, just so she knows I appreciate it. She is, because <laughs> she actually did this off her own back. She didn't have to do anything, so that's really awesome that she's meant to do that for me. Because as you guys know, at the moment I am working pretty much. Like I'm getting up half six, I'm getting back in the house about half past nine, so don't really have a lot of time in the moment to go collecting, so to speak. So she did it all for me, which is nice of her. Yeah. So yeah, leave a comment below guys if you wouldn't mind just saying thank you. <laughs> um, this is the little layer to the house at the moment. I've put the little tunnel along the side now. I'm going to start building upwards from that. I'm thinking about replicating on the other side later on. And having like a really cool like miniature castle kind of look to it. Have like a courtyard in the middle of four towers and then build it on from there. And um, that's the idea anyway, whether it'll look good or not. Obviously you never find it till you start creating. But that's the idea as it currently stands. But I want to get this bit built up get a layer on it now preferably if I've got enough cobblestone left and that way we can start building buildings up there and things I can get rid of the wooden structure at the bottom and then that way obviously I'll be able to be more safer at night we can continue working then through the night something creepers or anything come they're all going to be on the ground and we're obviously going to be safe up here up here's Larry building away I did that last time Ah, oh, I brought some ladders with me as you can see because my girlfriend did collect a lot of wood for me so I have been able to make a lot of ladders, I've double thick them up, a double thickness made them so um, you can obviously get up either side, it's no problem there um, of basically the reason the middle, so if you put the one on the one side, for me I like things like symmetrical and things like that so it's always good to have them all matching and things like things. so I don't know how high to do this I'm thinking, because I originally was going to have a really high stupidly big tower um, but because I'm going to be building like um, farms and things like that, I don't think I want it that high anymore. I think I want to have it like a medium kind of height. It would have if I started putting some of these ladders on, I think. I want to have it like a medium kind of height, which will obviously allow me a bit more like... I'm going to try and get like a hang off there. Right, catch. Oh, yes. Look at that, right. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you're on a ladder, you click the right hand log stick and you actually can't fall any lower so that's why I'm able to go along here just planting all these, I'm a bit too close that one planting all these with it falling down every 30 seconds like annoying me so yeah if you soon as you let go of click it starts lying down or if you click it again it just locks on no problem so we are pretty high now already so it's pretty good, what's that? is that cobblestone? is that cobblestone or let's go see what that is that's actually really weird. If that's a dungeon, I swear, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> Another dungeon. That one would actually be the third. I know you only saw the one on camera. Look, like, so my girlfriend's found one today. So if that's another dungeon, that is just insane. Because we haven't really explored past the spawn point. Oh my gosh, that actually is cobblestone. And that's my girlfriend's put it here. It's like a little trap. What's down here? Yeah, you can't really get in that bit. It's just a little hole. Hello, sheepy. Hi! <gasps> Moss stone! Oh my gosh! Another oh, another dungeon. This is absolutely insane. So you guys are going to try this either at home. This is three dungeons. I honestly have put hardly any gameplay into this server. So it's amazing. Oh, I wonder where the actual ones to spawn is there? Because there's lots of sand here. This is like buried underneath the sand. I don't know where it'll be. Let's start digging this moss stone out and see if we can find it. A bit of a random one. I've never really seen a monster spawn that's like buried under sand. It's like, oh, chest? Not seen that. Yeah, look, chest. This is really weird. I've never seen like a dungeon like this. It's so strange. Everything's just like a less because I know when the game originally spawns everything, it spawns it all and then sand and things will drop. So the sand will be spawned, like for example, in the area, there's the monster spawn in there, look. Oh wow, this is so awesome. Oh, I've got to light, light it up. Why well, is nothing coming out of it? Is it because it's the daytime, do you think? I, I thought it would just come out and kick my ass. I didn't know daytime would affect monster spawns. I thought it'd spawn and then just get burnt up. Hmm, a bit strange. I've got to watch my back. I'm not really paying much attention to the things around me. I'm just like happy as Larry digging things up. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh, water, that's fine. I'm going to leave some of that moss on for now. 
I'm gonna make sure that nothing comes out of there, then that's the only thing I'm gonna have a problem with. But that's really strange. Like an exposed dungeon kind of thing, that's really weird. Oh wow, I've never seen that before. But yeah, there we go, guys, another dungeon, yay! I bet there's another chest down there as well, some more stuff in it. We're gonna have to go back and clear it, get some shovels and things. I'm gonna shut this door behind me as well. So if not, I know I'm going to end up getting an ass kicking in a bit, which is never good. Um, yeah, so let's get a bit of these platforms on. I think they should be high enough height-wise. And what I'll do, I'll build the top of this structure as a cobblestone as well. And then from then on, I'll start building like wooden walkways and things. I think wood will be the way to go. It looks, when it's next to cobblestone, I always find it looks really cool, having like a wooden little like, area. Let me build that one out as well. Like having a little wooden area. I think the two textures go really well together because obviously you don't want everything looking the same material. So if we, this way, if I have wooden walkways, I can have a couple of wooden buildings, but then I can also have a lot of cobblestone buildings if that's what I prefer. Okay, so that's like that. So now, how am I going to like make this into a roof? That's going to be the challenging part now. Try and turn it into a roof kind of section. So if I have it going up onto here. I can always have a layer going round the outside kind of thing. So I'll level that off. So you can actually walk around to the other side of the tower but not very far kind of thing. This will be like the way you walk out over here. So you'll come up the top of the stairs. You'll be able to step all to here. But then this will be like where the door kind of area is to go onto the platform. Which then the platforms will spread left, right. Oh wow, what's in there? That looks cool. And um, the platforms will spread left, right, forwards, everywhere I need to go to like the train station and things. So let's level this bit off as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So if I level this off as well, start building it up a little bit. If I have it, say, if I did too high here like this, and then up here, it just makes it look a little better. Um, I like to have relatively large roofs. I like to have at least four or five blocks. Um, just because I like to be able to stand up and rather than feel claustrophobic everywhere. If I want to feel claustrophobic, well, go underground! <laughs> Let's try and get as much of this done as I can actually, because when it goes night time, you know, I'm going to start spawning here. If I haven't obviously put our torches in, I'm going to start getting my ass kicked, which is not what we want to be doing. So let's get this done as quick as I can. Then we need to resolve the monster spawn. If I can get first of all why nothing spawn in there, I don't know if it's because the sand's trapping it or what. It's a really weird one. I've never honestly come across a dungeon in such a like weird way. Um, but it might be because the sand's trapping or it might just be because it's daylight. I'm not exactly an expert on monster spawn, so it could be either or to be honest. Let me put one more layer on this. And I'll start building it across as like a proper roof then, all the way across here. I don't think I'm going to have enough cobblestone if I'm honest. I'm going to have to go straight onto the pathways, I think. But I've got enough time before things start kicking my ass. Pretty sure if I put torches up here, um, the time wise, you don't really make much of a difference. I've got the door shut downstairs. So if I can get all this area lit up, I'm going to need to get torches on top. Like I said, that's the one thing most people forget to do when they are building like things up in the sky and things like that. They forget to put torches on here. So then when you're obviously walking around, things will jump off your roofs and start kicking your ass, which is never a good thing to happen. <laughs> I hate doing flat roofs. I absolutely hate them. It looks so dull. I prefer to have like a really funky looking roof at the moment, just because I haven't got the materials to do it. We have to settle with a flat one for now and then obviously upgrade later on. I might also extend those pillows up, right, pillars up right into the top of the corners because at the moment they're stopping about three quarters of the way up. Because obviously I've just added an extra five layers of an ISO. They don't reach anymore so I might, when I get more cobblestone on, um, add some more of that on. That'll probably be better in the long run. Oh wow. I'm going to be really careful now. I'm going to get down from here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hang on, I've just thought something. Am I on peaceful difficulty? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm on peaceful difficulty. No, 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 monsters are spawning. Oh, my girlfriend was mining, obviously. She had it on peaceful, so she didn't die. So obviously, oh, I've been playing peaceful thinking I'm still on hard. That explains why the monsters weren't coming at the monster spawn problem. So, <laughs> oh, I feel like such a dumbass now, I tell you. Oh, wow, not good. So yeah, that's why the monsters weren't coming at the monster spawn. Still doesn't explain why it was covered in sand, but <laughs> that's why the monsters weren't coming at the monster spawn at the time anyway, so... I promise the next one will be back in hard mode. I didn't realise I was actually on in peaceful mode still. So not a good start to this episode. <laughs> I'm sure you guys don't mind. You're actually seeing me build some things for a change, which is quite a cool difference, so... I'm sure you guys quite like that side of it. 
Okay, let me get some of these wooden planks all cut ready. I always use the white wood to turn into planks. I mean, I know I may have mentioned this before, but um, white wood in general I don't really use for decorative purposes. I don't really like the look of it. It just looks a bit like lame if I'm honest. So I don't really use white wood that much. So um, what I do tend to do is use the white wood to turn into wooden planks. So then, um, where should I put this one? Should I match that one? No, I'll put them on the sides like this. That'll probably look better. Um, yeah, so when you turn them into planks, because I'm never really going to use white wood as a, like a, a resource on its own, I'm never going to build anything out of it or anything like that. Um, I can afford to turn as many of them into wooden planks as I need, keeping the dark brown wood there. And if I put a layer across here, that'll actually be quite useful. Um, put windows in then, kind of in the sides. Uh, yeah, I'll be able to um, use the dark brown wood for like my actual structures and things. So I like to put like dark brown patterns and things like that in it. So just it's just really about like managing your resources. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you do do that. Um, make sure that you've got the right thing that you need for each like creation kind of thing you if you need obviously wooden planks but you know you're going to use the dark wood then don't use the dark wood to turn it into planks just use the white wood nice and easy okay right so this is going to be the first bit i'm going to have i think i'm going to have it in a second just curving in a corner and then i'm going to have the corner going three thick then i'm going to have a torch each side and have the one thick for the path don't think i'll like the four thick I'm not too sure about it yet. I'm gonna see how it goes, but I think I'm gonna have like a corner here and have a big central platform in the middle. I'll have a think about that because I think if I have a big central area and have a really cool like cathedrally kind of design on top, and then everything else can branch off from that, which will look really awesome. It'd be in the middle of the lake, and everything else can branch off. So I can have like the train stations, like I said, the the the, the barracks area where I'll like live. I'll have um like the um the storage room things like that i'll have all different like areas over there and then i'll have a lot of area on the floor in order to obviously build like um, my farms and things like that and be able to gate it all off and it'll all be protected so if i can get some kind of like protection thing around this lake get it all lit up i'm going to try and think of a different way of lighting it rather than just sticking torches and things then i'll be able to obviously get some really cool things on the go but yeah, so that's the plan guys. I'm going to end this episode here. Sorry it's unpeaceful. I genuinely didn't realise. I'll probably be back on hard mode tomorrow's episode. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be building tomorrow. I'm going to be building it there. We're going to get a nice big platform laid out. And we're going to start, hopefully, if we can get some cobblestone and things together. I'll do finish work earlier tomorrow. Um, I'll be back home at about 6 o'clock. So three and a half hours earlier I can't complain about that and um, so yeah I'll be back about six so if I'm, I'm gonna try and get some collecting done and just get some materials picked up and things like that and then hopefully I'll be able to build an awesome structure in the middle floating which will really start off the series with a nice big bang get us something really cool for you guys to look at so yeah thank you for watching guys a bit long and not really much done I know <laughs> I'm sorry about that but uh, yeah thank you for watching thank you for bearing with me as well with the series I know it does take a while to start a Minecraft series up due to the lack of like materials at the start to allow you to build and obviously we're working on a time scale here but thank you very much and if you would leave a comment below i'd really appreciate it even if it is just to say thank you to my girlfriend for collecting all the stuff for us today and i really appreciate all the feedback guys so thank you again for watching and hopefully i will see you tomorrow take care bye